Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to VR Roundtable. This is Steve, and in this quick video, I wanted to show a free utility that you can get for Steam VR, and it's called Advanced Settings. I have it pulled up, it shows up in your um, your, your Steam VR menu along with everything else. You can see I have Steam and, and my desktop and Revive. But Advanced Settings has a lot of settings and it's convenient to access. You know, starting with the, the Steam VR settings, um, you have, you can adjust your super sampling, which somehow got reset. I normally leave mine on 1.2. And you can, you can restart it from here. Uh, but I'll wait till the next time I leave asynchronous reprojection on. Uh, and, and where it starts becoming more valuable, in my opinion, is your chaperone settings. You can adjust in the, the normal Steam menu, you can only adjust your chaperone visibility down to a certain percentage. Here, you can make it go completely away. So for some of those seated games or, or certain experiences like a chair in the room where you just don't want to see your chaperone bounds at all, uh, you can force your bounds on which I don't know where mine aren't on. Um, and, and, you know, I, I'm not going to go through every little thing, but you can flip the orientation. You can load a uh, profile. So I have a front facing towards my monitor when I'm recording things and then a, a rear for, for when I'm playing. Uh, play space, you can really manipulate. I, I, I don't normally play with all of these, uh, but you can shrink it and expand it and do what you need. Floor fix, um, you know, it's what it says it is. Audio, and this is this is one that I use a lot, where you can choose um, where you want to to send your audio, and and it for the most part, as far as I can tell, it works on the fly, at least in every use case that I have. So right now I'm using Oculus Rift, uh, but I can choose any of my my settings, and I can mirror it to something that already isn't in use in the playback device. You can also choose your microphone. So if you were to use a, uh, maybe you do Let's Plays videos and you were using a uh, lapel microphone. Uh, there's a Revive tab, which ironically I'm, I'm using a Rift, but um, if I was using my HTC Vive and using Revive, you can adjust a lot of settings. Uh, one of the most popular is if you're playing Robo Recall or Arizona Sunshine or something like that, and you gotta hold the grip buttons on the uh, HTC Vive controllers, uh, a lot of people don't like holding those buttons, so you can just click, uh, here it says grip button mode, you can set it to toggle. I'm not quite sure what hybrid does, uh, but at least in toggle mode, you uh, you have a time delay, but you press it and it'll it'll sort of latch, so you'll press it once to in Robo Recall to, to grab your gun and uh, press it again to drop the gun. Uh, in addition to that, there are obviously some... Um, Thumbstick, thumbstick settings as described and controller offsets. The controller offsets, a lot of people, and, and I've noticed it as I've started to use touch, is that there's a slight difference in, in, in the way, um, the angle, you, you can kind of adjust uh, some of the stuff here. And again, I don't personally uh, have a need for adjusting this, but uh, this is something you can play with and figure out what works for you. And just one more um, tip, uh, oh, looks like you can say profiles. Uh, one more tip, though, is if you are playing Rock Band VR, which I have not, I have read that you can uh, use some of these adjustments here to get it uh, right when you, you effectively uh, tape or, or zip tie your uh, Vive controller to the uh, Rock Band guitar controller. Um, you know, a few, you know, get some keyboard inputs, um, which, you know, is you know all the crashes and all the bugs that inevitably happen within steam vr there's always uh times where you, you may need this sort of stuff and an alarm clock i thought it was a great feature um here i don't play with accessibility but um if you have a need for it statistics okay you can see your drop frames and how often you go into reprojection it looks like it's for the session and then settings auto start um, which I leave checked. So again, this you install it, it is a free application. You um, there's really no reason to do it, and it is um, very, very, very helpful. And and I I found this by um, talking to a few people and realizing that they don't have this. They haven't heard of the app, and I know it's well discussed on 
on Reddit, but uh, maybe if you're watching this video, you don't check out Reddit, you don't frequent it, or frequent it, uh, or maybe you do and you just haven't uh, come across it. So it looks like it's called OpenVR Advanced Settings. Just Google that, I'm sure you'll find it, um, or just check uh, the description to this video. I'm going to add the link there. So it's worth checking out, and it's a very helpful utility. I recommend it for essentially everyone. There's no reason not to have it. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit uh, subscribe below. If you uh, are on Twitter and you want to follow us there, do so. And uh, we're also on Facebook um, for, for anybody that, that does that. And um, lastly, you can send us a comment at vrroundtable at gmail.com. And we'll see you next time. Later.